Taylor, please. Shut it. Please come here. <clears throat> uh, hello. I excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jayla, Jayla, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Well, tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. Ugh, bastard. Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. I wasn't. I, I wasn't giving you any look. Don't deny it. I saw the disgust in your eyes. As if you never did anything you were ashamed of. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. You think I give two shits about your judgment? What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No. Fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. <coughs> Enough! I've come to talk. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. 
A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mira. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Good. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! He's my brother! I wasn't finished! When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I can't do it. Cutter's my friend. Then you won't let him suffer any longer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? Oh, I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? 
Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Oh, you have to protect Sylvie. Ah. Got her. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But he can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrod. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrod. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrod. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. Can't take it any longer. And his son. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. That was only the beginning. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrod. Use the dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Good. Now grab his heart. Quickly. While his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Don't Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Get on! 
over there. This boy has been charged with murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please! This isn't right! Help me! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. The wine is ready. Your sister will pour. When they're all seated, you give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester, my apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asha. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. It would be a lie if I said otherwise. I appreciate your honesty. I'll need that from you if this is to work. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... And I'm sorry. But things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asha. I knew I could trust you. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asha. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? The 
plan is off. I'm gonna marry Gwyn. Consider it done, my lord. I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrest. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye, and get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. Of course it's my bloody hall! But you're too ready to give it over. Your false smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, father. Asher's just showing you the respect you deserve. Going on. Our opportunity is slipping away. I've called off the poisoning. What? Have you lost your mind? Why would you do such a thing? We had a plan. Now everything is at risk. Because Lord is scared of me, and I can use that against him. <sighs> Asha, is everything all right? Fine, thank you. You cannot let this happen. I refuse to stand by and watch you throw away everything we- What are you two on about? I thought this was a celebration. Uh, Yet yeah, here you are, bickering like children. Over what? Father. I will not be silenced. Something's not right. I'm sure Asha can explain. Everything's fine, right? Everyone calm down. Just having a conversation with my mother, that's all. Well, this isn't a conversation. This is the ruin of our house. That's enough, mother. Get my family out of here! I'll clean up here!
My lord, the White Hill Force is upon us. Oh, <laughs> 